QK8D. Now let's talk about it. This is the fourth installment in QK series keyboard lineup, but this time around, Kurikis has teamed up with Sweatkeys, another reputable brand within the custom keyboard community. The one I have here is the WK version with the milky white colorway. There's a total of 10 color options to choose from. And there's also a WKL version if you are into that sort of layout. This keyboard will set you for around 200 US dollar. As usual, the price will increase if you add more item into the mix. You might want to check out the Notion webpage for more details and breakdown on this section. This QK80 offers a barebone kit and a bundle kit. As for the bundle, you get a set of cherry profile, double shot PBT keycaps, and 90 piece of latte switch. Again, you can check out the Notion webpage for more info on these regards. Following the same characteristic of its previous predecessor, the design of this keyboard is kept to a minimal. Upon first glance on this TKL-80% keyboard, my eyes are drawn onto this RGB strip located on the right side of the board. With the golden accent ring around it, it is beautiful. On the side, Kurikis decide to revamp the side profile making it more pronounced than its previous release. If you look on a certain angle, it looks like the keyboard is floating and elevated from the ground. Well, I may exaggerate a bit here. Like its predecessor, this QK80 comes with two weights, the external and the internal. There's nothing much going on for the external weight, there is no branding or anything, except for the rectangle cut in the middle. I'll talk about this later. As we go on for the internal weight, there's a sweat keys and quirky keys branding can be seen. And there's this beautifully crafted badge, which is designed to sit perfectly in the center of the external weight. It is a bit uncommon to see, nevertheless, quirky keys has nailed it. In addition, the weight and the bash also comes with a few variants to choose from. Like the previous release, I'm talking about QK75, this QK80 also exhibits the same mounting mechanism. But this time around, we get to choose which of the gasket we want to use. Kurikis has included an additional set of a stiffer gasket grommet which is in black color within the kit. Before I let you know my thoughts on this chapter, I'll let you hear them first and we'll talk about it more later. Let's start with the formless configuration. With the formless configuration, I've catched a little bit of the resonant sounds coming out from the case. I'm gonna add this case foam and hopefully it will eliminate or at least reduce those unpleasant sounds. The sound did improve. The case foam managed to tone down the metallic ping coming out from the case, and I kinda like this configuration. One last test. This time, I'm including the PE foam into the mix. In fact, I'm gonna use all the foam included within the kit, just to satisfy my curiosity. Let's begin. As expected, the marbly sound signature of Kuri Keys. And for some, they may call it foamy sound, or whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. What do I think of this QK80? I love how the aesthetics of this keyboard is kept to a minimal, but with a few added flair onto it. From the curved side profile, the beautifully crafted bash, to the 1U LED. And the finishing on this keyboard is perfect. There aren't any rough cuts or sharp corners present on this board, at least on my sample. I do hope that Kurikis will continue on this trend even on the final release. What interests me the most is the design of each keyboard in this QK series. Yes, there are similarities in certain aspects like the characteristics and etc. And that's it. That's the only similarities across all the QK series. The design is completely different with one another. Query keys always manage to keep the price of their keyboard within the same price bracket, regardless of the material cost and etc. Looking at the design and all the small details added onto the board, 
it's hard for me to accept that you will get something like this for a sub $200. In my opinion, the release of this QK80 is a perfect addition into the QK series lineup. I've said this before and I'll say it again. With each of the release of the QK series keyboard, Kodi keys never fail to impress me. They always seem to have step up in their game with each release. If you are still looking for a premium TKL and at the same time, something that won't hurt your wallet too much, look no further. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good one.